We've got an exciting machining demonstration to show you today here at the Dorma Pramit Productivity Center. Now today we're going to be showing it's face milling, but what, what is the part we're going to be showing? How did you program it? Yeah, sure. So we'll be showing the ONMX on the P20 steel. Uh, we programmed it using free, uh, Fusion 360. Uh, we like using Fusion because all our tools are in there, so it helps with um, data rules uh, imported in straight away. Brilliant. Let's, let's let the chips fly. Hit the button. Perfect. So as Tom's running that, uh, you can hear that face mill is running tough, man. Yeah. And Dexmills normally, they do sound a little bit rougher than yeah. normal, right? Yes, exactly. Yeah, obviously, yeah. They're always a little bit rougher, but this one, obviously, you can see he's only pulling 50% spindle load, so we're, we're perfectly... So even good. though it sounds like, doesn't sound anything like an index, a, a, a solid end mill, yeah. that is a damn good cut, and you're yeah. cutting really well in that steel. Um, what are the cutting speeds? Yep, yeah, so we're running at 240 VC. Uh, we're running at about 0.3 or 2, so we've got six teeth on here. So we're getting about 550 metal removal rate. That so is we're not absolutely huge. You can see on the feed rate you're running. Yeah, oh, so this we, is like this the finishing, finishing pass now. now. Yeah, oh, so we slowed down a little bit on this one. It's about 2,300. Oh. Yeah, so when we're running rough in here, yeah, we're about two and a half thousand. Yeah. That is absolutely fantastic. Mm -hmm. um, and the finishes you get on a face, I mean, people, they want the metal removal rate because they're either doing big faces, they're trying to take yeah. off big areas, or they're trying to really rough down a big block that's not the right yeah. size, you know, trying to get it down. And that's why you want those uh, those metal removal rates. But also, you might want a nicer finish um, on the line of the final pass. Now, yeah. you can obviously reduce the feed rate like we're doing here right now, yeah. and the finish looks pretty nice. We want to have a quick look once it's finished. Um, how else do you get a better finish on that on on, a, on that kind of uh, face mill? Yeah, I think you get a better finish by using obviously the uh, right grade of insert. So we're using one designed for steel here, so it helps with obviously taking a service finish away. Uh, and then also softer entry, so just rolling it in and off the part as well. Absolutely. Let's have a quick look at the surface finish. I'm just going to have a look there. And oh, wow. I mean, we saw that we, we early out of camera, we saw the surface finish on the roughing pass, and it is like, it's rough. Because you, yes. you are the feed rate marks, you can see it advancing. And actually, if you slow down to 1,000 mil, you're getting a decent finish on there yep. as well. So you can do, kind of do both. You can Can't do, do the roughing, yep. big metal removal yep. rates, and also the finishing And that, as well. that's the roughing insert on there as well, so it's not even designed for finishing, so you're getting the best of both worlds. Okay, so I love it. Best of both worlds, roughing and finishing. That's the face mill from Dorma.